Hello, welcome to Table Talk, and this is definitely the last Table Talk of August. Honest, no honest. Hello, welcome to Table Talk and welcome to Model Kit Stuff. My name is Jason. If you've not seen one of these videos before, usually what we do is talk about what happened the week before and what's coming up, what's been happening on the modeling desk and so on. This week it's a little different um, because I usually record it on a Friday um, and then get it edited and it goes out for Saturday morning about 8 a.m. my time. Uh, Lancashire time um, but if um, but uh, I, I can't do that this week because on Friday uh, I'm going away um, and I'll be I'll be away until Monday evening having a, a long weekend away so um, I can't do that so this is just a little update just to remind people of where we're up to one or two things um, and uh, uh, one or two little things to talk about not got much to talk about to be honest so um, yeah so this week's will be a little bit different and I'm recording this Thursday morning uh, before I start work and before I've tidied up my desk ready for work so uh, this is what I was working on last night um, if you've never seen this but some of my new subscribers might not have you can go and dig out um, the build diary of this once we've got the second planking done um, then we'll be um, uh, putting more videos up but we're at a point where there's a lot of time consuming work to do I didn't do anything on it for a few months I, I sort of lost my mojo a little bit um, I was clearing the decks on my plastic kits so um, you haven't seen a video since last year actually um, but I am working on getting the second planking done um, on the on the hull you can see upper hulls done lower hull is in progress once the lower hulls done and uh, I've got it planked and uh, I've got it painted or I'm ready for painting it that's when the videos will, will uh, content will start coming together so it will be back fly absolutely will be back but I need to get it to a point where there's actually enough material um, to start putting videos together but yeah, you can see she's on the desk. She's coming together um, nicely. Um, I'm happy with my, my progress. So once we've got that done, the other side is nearly finished. This side um, I, I need to catch up on. So um, yeah, One, once that's done, Fly will be back, I promise. So if you've not seen the Fly videos, um, you can go to uh, the um, Fly playlist, which I think is in the wood, within the Wood playlist. Um, and you can see that starting from scratch, some tips on planking, um, my method of bending planks, which is, I've never seen anyone else uh, do it that way, to be honest, but it works a dream, it's a lot quicker. Um, so all sorts of bits and pieces in there, um, and also some tips on painting your galleries and, and bits and pieces. Uh, but you basically get up to this point here. Um, and once we've got the, the planking on, we've painted the lower hull, that's where all the sexy stuff starts and we start putting wood strips on, the steps, um, uh, we've got finish the planking of the, of the decks uh, and then we've got all the deck fittings to go on, the masks, all the bling, the stern gallery, the rudder. Um, and, and get it really lovely. Then we're on masts and rigging and yeah, brilliant stuff. Um, so it will start coming together really quickly once we've got the second planking done, which is always laborious. It's m a bit harder on this Victory Models kit than it is um, on some other kits because the second planking is quite thick. Um, quite often it's almost like a veneer and that's really easy to, to do, but this, um, this needs a little bit more work um, to, to get it right but the offshoot is you get an, a really nice looking kit um, a ship build at the end of it now interestingly there's a reason um, why I was leading in with that interestingly um, the designer of these um, kits the uh, a lot of the Amati kits some part work kits for hatchet and also um, uh, the Victory Models kit 
has his own website and is designing his own kits. So I'm going to give you a, a link to that and you can go and check it out. So the website's called Vanguard Models um, and he has uh, models of various com complexity on there which are suitable from sort of beginners all the way up to, to very, very uh, accomplished. But the very well designed kits, this is a really lovely uh, kit. Uh, uh, he's the same designer. Um, he's well known in the industry, so he's got all sorts there. I'm interested in possibly getting one of those just to check it out. Um, I'm interested in the um, uh, Naval Cutter Alert, so um, I might do that. It's it's very small. It's it, it's something we could do as a beginner's model in the future on the channel. Has a little bit of bling, so it's nice and interesting. His instruction manuals are lovely. You can have a look at those online. Um, so some really interesting stuff there. So those of you that are wooden modelers, um, I, and I know a few of you do uh, like me do wooden models as well as plastic. Um, it's worth checking out Vanguard models. Now um, I'm not being paid to say that or anything it's um, a website I've come across um, accidentally didn't know it existed um, had a good nose around and it looks really interesting so yeah okay not it's been quite a while since we talked about wood on here but there you go we've done some right what's next well we had a bit of a, a, a milestone uh, this week um, with the channel so the channel, as most of you know, is heading towards three years old. It'll be three years old in November, would you believe? Um, and um, last week we hit the one million views uh, milestone. So I am massively, massively grateful to all of you for the subscriptions, for watching the videos, the support the, con the um, comments, the supportive comments, the constructive criticism, uh, it's all good, like it all. Uh, so a massive thank you. So if you're a new subscriber or a long-standing subscriber, a massive, massive thank you to everyone for supporting the channel. It's greatly appreciated. I enjoy doing this in no small part because of you guys and the interaction that I get. Um, there's some fascinating characters out there who uh, like to talk to me on the channel. So on a, uh, a Friday night when we put out the build video, there's a number of people that are regulars in the chat and there's some uh, people that bob in and out and we, we have some really nice conversations, uh, sometimes about my video, sometimes about what the people are doing. Uh, I tend to uh, try and find out what everyone else is, is working on and, uh, and building at the time. So yeah, really uh, a nice little community built up and I'm grateful to all of you. Now, if over that three year period you've found that you've um, enjoyed the videos or got anything from it, then you can consider with any of my videos, there is a little super thanks button underneath. So I don't do Patreon, uh, I don't do membership or any form of uh, subscription service or anything like that. And a few of you have asked, um, but if you ever watch a video and think, you know what, I really enjoyed that, that was worth a, a pound or a dollar, um, you're, you can hit the super thanks and that's a way of saying thank you to me for the video um, and contribute to the channel. So any contributions to the channel um, stay in the channel. They don't, they don't go on me buying Ferraris or anything. Um, not that you could with the revenue you get from YouTube anyway, uh, but it stays in the channel. Uh, so if it stays in the channel, you're going to get the benefit from it as well. Um, so we, any revenue from the channel goes towards purchasing new kits and products that we end up reviewing, using, building on the channel. Right now, we're trying to get to the point where we've got a, um, a Sol, the uh, Revell 1 to 100 Sol Royale, uh, which is a, a, an old kit, but it's a beautiful kit and it's been on my wish list since I was, I don't know, 12, 11, something like that. Um, so always wanted to build it. We're gonna make it happen through uh, the contributions of the channel. Um, uh, I'm hoping that this month that'll happen. Uh, once we've got that, we can then review it on the channel and we'll talk about it here on Table Talk, which is the place to understand what's, what's coming up. So 
a million views. I, I am mightily chuffed. Um, I never expected anything like that. You know, if the, if the channel suddenly flatlined and we stayed at 6,000 plus subscribers, um, I, I'd be happy. Um, I'm in a happy place now with the channel. I suspect that it will slowly continue to grow. Um, I, what I find is that people come in largely through the first impressions videos. Well, you know, first impressions videos are going to slow down. I have a plan um, for um, first impressions going forward and what we're gonna do with the Wednesday slot. And we'll uh, perhaps talk about that in a minute. Um, but at some point, I'm gonna run out of kits in the stash and the frequency of buying models is such that we won't have one every week uh, for sure. So um, any contributions to the channel will keep that flow going a little bit and it allow me to get some of the uh, newer models as they get released and we can we can do that. I will still buy some additional models. I'm not saying that um, uh, the, the hobby is self-supported now. My hobby is self-supported by the channel. Um, sometimes I put my own money into it to, to make sure I get. So, uh, for example, at the start of the year when Airfix released their catalogue, um, I will always put my pre-orders on for the year. That comes out of my pocket, not the channel funding. Um, so there's, there's a combination of things there that, that contribute to the channel. So we still will have plenty of first impressions during the course of the year, but they'll only be of the, the kits that I'm, I'm purchasing for the stash. Whereas for the last nearly three years, we've been working through the stash. Now I've still got some to go through. We're probably good for the rest of this year. Um, but uh, like I say, there is a plan. And the plan is to um, bring back uh, not that it really went away, we just didn't do anything to, to warrant an, another episode, but we'll bring back Wood Wednesday. Um, so the, the build of the fly will continue on Wednesdays um, and the first impressions videos will happen um, on a Wednesday, but as I've got something to review. So what we should have is a video on a Monday, which could be a product, a tool, a quick tip, um, uh, 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 introducing basics could be any of those formats Wednesday will be either uh, wooden ship or um, a first impressions Friday will be the, uh, the build the the plastic build uh, and then Saturday will be the um, table talk so uh, that will keep us on four videos there may be some Wednesdays when we miss one so three to four videos uh, and occasionally we'll punctuate that with live streams and you know we do some buddy builds from from time to time uh, and um, I join in on at least one buddy build every year so one way or another we're gonna just um, keep things mixed up and a, and a little bit of variety I think the variety is good now talking about variety we did um, uh, a little poll so if you go to my community page there is um, uh, a little poll running um, you're welcome to contribute to that it just stays open it's not something that has a time and it's going to go um, it seems to have settled now um, and the basic question is um, what is your preferred modeling genre so if you're like me you like to build a bit of everything but I prefer my ships um, it, what I'm asking is what is your preference and it's been really really interesting so aircraft is the biggest genre interest closely followed by ships and if you put the two of those together you've got 75% thereabouts of uh, modelers that watch my channel interested primarily in either aircraft or ships um, so yeah, someone pointed out that as there's always a ship build on my channel, it, it's not unexpected that I might have a larger than normal percentage um, of uh, ships. And I think that's an interesting point. Um, but I was really surprised at how small vehicles was. Um, vehicles including armoured fighting vehicles, tanks and so on. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a tiny fraction of, of the rest. So uh, aircraft modeling is something I'm relatively new at. I've been building aircraft models 
uh, in, in real seriousness for about four years. Before that, I didn't touch them. And um, when I was a kid, I did. Um, I, in 172 scale, I, I used to build uh, aircraft. I had a, um, a Hornby railway set and a lot of uh, my models ended up on, on what was a huge war diorama, soldiers, tanks, vehicles all over the place in amongst this steam train going around, um, which was very cool when I was a kid. Um, so I, I used to build aircraft to go on there, uh, along with um, 176 scale kits and, and matchbox kits and so on, that they would appear on there. Um, but then, um, when I found Tamiya, when I had enough money to buy Tamiya kits in 135, I stopped doing 172 and I stopped doing um, aircraft and I did ships or um, armoured fighting vehicles. And I didn't do many ships. I did armoured fighting vehicles for a lot of my twenties. Um, and then things slowed down because I had kids. And then when I came back to it, I came back to ships. And then eventually, like I say, bef just before I launched the channel, um, I ventured into aircraft. Um, I can't remember which which one it was, but I know this the um, uh, 148 Sea uh, Fury from Airfix was was second or third. I think the first one I did um, was a 172 Mustang from Airfix, and it was lovely and colourful, and it sparkled and it came together relatively well. Um, and then I did um, a Hawker Hurricane with the black and white underneath. Um, and then I did the Sea Fury. I think that's that's how it went. But uh, And then a little 172 Iron Decker. So, uh, and I caught the bug for, for aircraft. Um, and it was funny because the year before I'd gone around um, uh, the Telford model show uh, with my partner Paula, uh, and, and there's tables and tables and tables of aircraft and I said, I don't really know why um, why people build aircraft. They all look the same. Uh, and Paula said, well, they're a damn sight more colorful than all those ships you build. So I started building some, some uh, aircraft because Paula quite likes them on display, um, but I caught the book. So there you go. So yeah, really interesting. If you've not voted in that, you can, you can go along and have a vote. Like I say, it's on my community tab on my main page there. Um, I did tidy up the main page the other day, so all the playlists are in the right place and everything, so I think it's easy to navigate. There are some um, sections of that page that is dictated by YouTube, so at the top you've got most recent, most popular videos and stuff, which I think has got, which is the uh, 172 Revell Technics U-boat, which is 27,000 views or something like that. So there's there's quite um, there's there's some stuff at the top which leads you into individuals, but if you go a bit further down, you'll you'll find that there is playlists with for aircraft separately, ships separately, tools separate, uh, tools and other stuff separately, wood separately. So um, if you if you're fairly new to the channel, it's always worth checking that out and see what else uh, I've done because there's um, literally hundreds of videos in there now. I don't tend to take them down. I leave them up there. Um, and the, the reason is I, I, ha I did a video um, not long after the channel started uh, and I did it for, for Ron who, um, uh, as many of you know, uh, does the uh, daily uh, video log um, called The Model Ship. Um, but does all sorts of stuff in there. Um, and I did a, a, a little uh, few minute long video on how to separate your parts when you've glued them together with, with this stuff, with uh, Tamiya Extra Thin, which is the glue he was using. And he, he glued a couple of parts together, realized he'd got them wrong. I chucked a little video out to help him say, look, this is how you separate parts. I still get comments almost every week on that video um, people helping people out coming against that and that's my uh, and that's what I'm saying if you watch a video like that and it's really really helpful consider giving a pound to the channel because it because it just helps everything along so I think that is mainly it um, in terms of modeling I have only really focused on fly um, I haven't done anything with the with the plastic kits I need to give the desk a good clean down after after wood because it gets um, quite dusty with all the sanding and what have you going on. Um, so it needs a good hoover and a wipe down. So 
um, it's not something you can quickly jump on with with the wood you have to set it up and I have to clean it down afterwards um, there won't be any modeling this weekend because I'm away there won't be any modeling the following weekend because I'm away but um, after um, uh, Friday um, that's just gone um, in your time uh, tomorrow in my current time um, I'm on holiday so this is my last working day until about the 28th of August so uh, that's the longest run of break from work um, without being off sick for um, over 10 years I usually only have a week at a time so uh, really nice getting an 18 day break uh, for lucky with the um, with the bank holiday so the next time you will see me, um, I, I have already got my videos loaded up for the next two weeks. So the Monday and Wednesday slot are already loaded up, queued up, ready to go. They'll just automatically come on so I don't have to fuss about them. Uh, so um, the next time you will see me, because I won't be doing uh, table talks those weekends, is on the uh, 25th of this, uh, of August and then said December then uh, 25th of, uh, of August the day before my birthday as it happens um, always a bit of a solemn day for me because it's actually the day my mum my passed away um, but we're going along uh, 30, uh, 30 years ago um, this year um, 30 years since my mum passed away uh, day before my birthday um, but on that day, we'll be putting Gotha 11 out. So I'm looking forward to seeing you all then, having a good catch up with you, see what people have been doing over the last last couple of weeks. In the meantime, during the holidays, I'm going to be pushing the Gotha on, trying to get it over the line. I'm going to be pushing Queen Mary 2 on, trying to get that a lot closer to the line. Uh, I'm going to be trying to get the uh, wooden hull uh, done as far as possible. I will be recording some more first impressions videos and some more video content and I'll be doing quite a bit of editing to try and get ahead and take the pressure off me not that there is pressure on me really um, but just to take the pressure off and, and get several weeks ahead so that um, uh, we can keep ahead with, with putting the videos out so that's a nice place to be as well. So, uh, a busy couple of weeks, but a real fun couple of weeks. Looking forward to that. Um, and then when we come back, we can have a, a, a get another table talk out and um, you can have a look at the garden. I have a tomato that's nearly red. So exciting. <laughs> um, growing your own stuff, you know, it's been really interesting. And um, we grew some of these from seed, so, uh, which, which Paula did for me. Um, so she's really excited as well. So yeah, really good. All that remains to say is again, a massive thank you to you all for subscribing and following along with what happens. Enjoy the next couple of weeks. Enjoy your modeling. Enjoy the summer because it looks like we, we might be dodging the rain for at least a few days. Looking like my weekend away is going to be relatively uh, nice. So uh, we're going to get a little bit of uh, summer. So it's now raining in Canada, so that means I can have some sunshine. Thank you, all of my Canadian subscribers, for sending me some sun. It's greatly appreciated. Right, that's it for this week, for a couple of weeks. Um, if you want to know what's coming up in the rest of August, then have a look at last week's Table Talk when I ran through uh, the, the Lightly playlist. Go through 11 on the 25th. I will see you there. Until then, enjoy your modelling. Take care. Bye for now.